Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Marco and today we are continuing with more One Piece episodes 372, 73 and 74. Last set of episode was very great, we got expansion about Shadow Shadow Fruit. It was already quite powerful ability, right? At first I thought it wasn't really suited for 1v1 battle and stuff, but after we learned more about it, it can definitely help even in 1v1 battles, especially that you can use and manipulate your own shadow to use it as a shield, but the fact that you can slip between your body and shadow and go back and forth, that's kind of crazy. And in quite a distance as well, he uh, went into his own shadow from Moria's body to where Robin was standing and he got Robin's shadow, so she should be out for the count two days, right? But because some people are stronger, they gain their consciousness back sooner, so I think that's going to be the case with our girl Robin, but it's dire situation, it's obviously building up to Luffy showing up and saving the day, I really hope that happens soon because <laughs> He started going in the opposite direction of horse. He absorbed 100 shadows, so shadows can go inside of living beings as well. 10 minutes though, but the user gets the abilities and techniques, I guess. It's like you instantly learn all these new things. And Zoro, Nami and Usopp are only members who are on their feet right now. And they are about to get attacked by Ors as well. The combo attacks, the teamwork is phenomenal. Chopper told them to go for the right arm. We tried that. We are trying to insert the giant bag of salt into his mouth. But it's really hard, man. We need Luffy. That's pretty evident. And I hope he will arrive soon. But the most shocking thing to me was honestly Blackbeard becoming a warlord. He is cooking something. It probably has to do something with Ace's battle. He probably defeated Ace and used that as an opportunity to propel himself into becoming Warlord. And because he's a Warlord, he's going to be close to Navy, so he will probably be able to get away with some stuff, man. It's obvious that Blackbeard also has some sort of goal and dreams that we are unaware of. But it's so intriguing and curious, man, especially because he has that letter D in his name as well. I'm really curious about his character. Plus, he has strong as fuck devil fruit. Probably the strongest one we've ever seen, so far at least, in One Piece. At least it seems like Kuma is not uh, going to fight alongside Moria because... Moria did not approve of that. He was uh, Kuma was basically here because the world government was like, hell no, we are not letting Strawhead Luffy to defeat another warlord after stuff with Alabasta and Daniel's lobby. We cannot afford that. Kuma go there, and he's apparently the only one who is doing government's bidding. So he came, but it seems like he's on the sidelines that he doesn't want to be involved because Moria doesn't love it and thinks he can uh, do this by himself, but he doesn't know what is Luffy cooking for him. I can't wait to see what happens, so without further ado, let's start. Oh, I almost forgot. Thanks to Mr. Line, as always. Thanks, man. He told me that there is a new opening, spoiler free, but for some reason it's not on Crunchyroll. Crunchyroll keeps this one for a long time. It probably has to do something with licensing and stuff, but I will watch that new opening in next video. Before we start next three episodes, I will react to the newest opening, so it's gonna be next video. Without further ado, let's start episode 372. Let's go. All right, guys, the final battle against Moria was something else. So at first we thought that it's going to conclude with Nightmare Luffy 
dealing the finishing blow. He knocked out Ors and Moria, they were unconscious. Luffy returned to normal. He had 100 shadows, he was extremely exhausted after that. And not only that Luffy uh, was exhausted after uh, absorbing those shadows, he used third gear for strike on Ors and later on second gear and then third gear again. Like, he, it's just like the battle against Luchi. He exhausted himself a lot and I know that it's taking a lot of toll on him because uh, he's raising his blood pressure and everything. It's insane how, uh, how much tenacity Luffy has and how durable he is. But Or stands up. And the next episode, we have the best combo attack ever where everyone was involved. Brook was carrying Luffy to the top. Chopper made sure to let everyone know about the plan to straighten up Orse's back. Uh, Usopp and Frankie were making sure to freeze Orse's leg. Nami created the rain cloud. Robin uh, helped Brook get up. Sanji was responsible for chain. And my man Zoro straight up cut Orse in the stomach so that he distracted him before Luffy striked with bazooka and cracked his spine. First time ever that we see all of them working together and that was so satisfying. But even that wasn't enough, man. And Moria absorbs 1000 shadow. He didn't go for 500 or 600. He had to go for 1000 and because of his own greed and mistake, he is now defeated. I hope so, at least, if they still somehow manage to bring Moria back, man, it's going to be too much, honestly. The way they did these three episodes is perfect, man. The climax is so unpredictable. and. Not that I underestimated Morse little, as I said during the action. I underestimated him a lot. We should put some respect on his name, honestly, man. Uh, his design and goofiness aside, he's really, really strong opponent. He also said something interesting. That he lost in New World because his crew was alive, bro. That's so brutal. So he lost his whole crew, man. Like, was Perona and Absalom part of his crew? They are alive. I don't know about Perona, I can't confirm, but I think she is alive. And because of that, he is now using these zombies. So he didn't use zombies before that. I guess after he got his ass whooped in New World, he came to a real realization that zombies would be of use and he maybe then contacted Hogback and started this whole zombie shenanigans. But yeah, and now he was saying, I dare you to go to the new world. There is true nightmare waiting for you there. And we are struggling against him so much. Man. It's certainly like parallel to Don Creek and when we were about to go to Grand Line as well. But... Luffy struggled way more against Moria naturally because he's one of the warlords. He isn't warlord for nothing. And we kinda got lucky that he got too cocky and absorbed too many shadows, man. Honestly. Lola is fucking great. She's determined, just like Strawheads, to stand tall and proud despite sun starting to burn her, her head, man. She's ready to die and to watch this until the very end. It was perfect, man. And I like how her crew still cares about her. They were trying to get her down. And I kept saying, duck, duck, guys. Like, don't lose your lives like that. Maybe we can buy some more time and you are all going to survive. And the conclusion of the last episode, we see Zoro and everyone start burning. But Zoro still, oops, sorry. <laughs> Zoro still keeping the pose and everything, so. It, it's kind of mysterious because I don't know if shadows are going back to original bodies. That has to be the case, right? 
because Ors absorbed all of them and we beat the shit out of him. I hope that they are going back to us. The scary thing is that we gave our all and if Puma decides to attack us right now, I think we don't stand even a little bit of chance. That's the scary part, because he's still there, we saw him in first episode of this set standing on the balcony, man, so we must not forget that. That's all for today, that was amazing, I hope that you guys enjoyed, if you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always, check out my Patreon page if you want to see a few episodes early, I will be seeing you very soon with another video, until then, take care and have a nice day, see ya guys.